What up, Fluckers? In this video, I'm gonna be creating a tier list on what I think are the most fun parrots you can possibly own. Now, just to be clear, this isn't a list on whether you're looking for like a beginner parrot or something like this. So, you know, take everything with a grain of salt. If anything, I just hope this video can, you know, introduce you to some interesting birds that maybe you didn't realize are just really fun or super big personality. But in the end, one of you guys asked me to please do a tier list video, and I'm like, you know what? Not a bad idea. Idea. So that's what this is all about. So let's go ahead and just jump right in. So right here I have every single bird that I have reviewed up until now. Now that we're just out of breeding season, so I'm not really gonna be doing parrot reviews for a little bit. So here I'm gonna do a tier list on all the birds that I've reviewed. So that way, if you see a bird that interests you, you can watch that video review that I did on them and things can go more into detail. So with that, let's just go ahead and hop right in. So here I got 22 birds. That's how many parrots I have a video on so far. 22, I mean, it's not bad and I mean I got a good mix you know some common birds and also some uncommon birds I, I honestly guys this first year doing this YouTube channel has been really awesome and exciting and I mean just you know being able to hang out with you guys like it's really fun so first off let's see hey, we got the green cheek conure right here now let me just again make things clear I'm going to rate birds based on, in my opinion, how fun they are. There will be some very high maintenance birds on here that I'm going to rate very highly. And what I mean is just how much of a clown they are, how much of a crazy hyper personality, that they're just super funny. That's how I'm going to be rating this. So, you know, take things, you know, with a grain of salt, and it's just my opinion. Green Sheet Conyer, they're really fun birds, uh, but they're also pretty relaxed and chill. Like, they're just more of a cuddle bird they just kind of want to like hang out though they can do some funny things here and there and I own a green cheek myself so in my green cheek review that's my bird Yuta and she is a lot of fun but as far as just a funny bird that's just super crazy definitely not there but they definitely have a fun conure personality so I'll give it a C I think just right there in the middle. That's definitely where green cheek conures are at. They're just a good mix of everything. Next up are cockatiels. I also have a cockatiel, one of the first videos I did. My cockatiel is Choco. Cockatiels are just really, they're really funny actually. They do really weird things. Uh, like one of my best friends has two cockatiels and every time I'm over there, his cockatiels are always just doing something really dumb. Just like picking on each other, or chewing a box, or just being like really fidgety, like they just can't sit still. I think they're pretty funny birds. They're not super funny, but they're, they're pretty there. I, I think B is a great spot for cockatiels. Absolutely. So next up we got the Myers Parrot. The Myers Parrot that I reviewed there was actually my brother. Actually the Myers is right in front of me. You guys can't see it. I love Myers, but they're not clowning birds. They're just more chill, just vibing with you. Sometimes my brother's Myers will do something funny, but it's pretty rare. So definitely an E. All right, next, let's do Crimson Rosella. Really fun bird. It doesn't handle like a parrot. It handles more like a parrot that's like pretending to be a pigeon, if that makes sense. They're really fun, interesting, inquisitive birds that kind of get themselves in trouble. And they, they, they can be pretty silly at times in like a different way than a normal parrot. I, I would give it a B. It's kind of like a cockatiel a little bit. Yeah, and they, they do have quite a bit of energy, so they'll get themselves in trouble. So then next, let's just start from the top then, moving forward. Okay, Bronzewing Pianus. The one I reviewed is mine, Sora. I love Pianus. They are very calm birds as well, though they sometimes do something silly. Most times Sora, I mean, he just flies to me and he just chills on top of my seat and then just poops everywhere. That's pretty much what he does. So definitely, yeah, a very low energy bird. Sometimes does something fun, but not too much. Uh, e tier, absolutely E, e tier for sure. Okay, plum heads. Plum heads are interesting. They're more of a show bird. I wouldn't say that they clown around too much. 
Uh, they're definitely just more of like a show bird. They kind of sit there, look pretty, fly around. They do have good energy to them. They'll play with toys and stuff. They're not really like a troublemaker too much, at least in my experience. I would give this like a, I think they're a good D tier. I think they're a solid D for sure. Okay, next, half moon conure. It's literally like a big bird in like a really tiny body. I mean, these guys got attitude. Definitely will do like silly things and our half moon, Yoshi, he definitely does some silly things sometimes. He gets super defensive whenever we play with Sakura. He's a hardcore simp for Sakura, absolutely. Every time she makes like a squawk, Yoshi just like and his eyes are like literally double down focusing on you. I mean, these guys are really funny. I, I think they're really fun. So B tier. I think they're they're good. Yeah, let's stick with that. Okay, superb parrots. That's a hard one. They definitely have a, a very interesting personality. They're somewhat more kind of like bird-minded, kind of like a Rosella, but like I think they lean a little more towards like plum head where yeah, they're bird brain, but they're not like that. I think I definitely need to spend more time with superbs, but I'm gonna go with my gut. I'm just gonna say that they're probably right in the middle. So I'll, I'll give it a C tier because it, like, it was definitely like an interesting bird. I wouldn't say like super funny or anything, but I think definitely has her fun moment. So I'm gonna go with C tier on that one. All right, next we got mustache parakeet. Mustache parakeets are pretty fun, I would say. Mustache tend to be a little more calm in my experience. They're not as hyper, but they definitely do have like somewhat of that big personality. They're very bossy. They can be silly. I'm mean, gonna give that a B tier. Mustache being B tier, yeah, I think that makes sense. Okay, so the next, we got the rainbow lorikeet. Oh my gosh. Lorikeets, just in general, are just really big clowns. I mean, like almost all the time, you can point the camera and they're doing something really funny. And especially because they're just freaking sugar rockets. I mean, these things are so hyper. So I think we got our very first S tier parrot. I'm gonna put the rainbow lorikey right here, S tier. Absolutely. Okay, so next up we got the scarlet macaw. Okay, macaws. Big birds, super crazy, super fun. They're not as hyper as some other birds that would be like S tier, but they definitely do tons and tons of silly things. They are an absolute solid A tier. Absolutely. I mean, they're, I'm biased towards loving macaws. Let me just put it that way. Definitely an A tier. All right, so the next we got the princess parrot. Mm, I, they're, again, they're very similar to like Crimson Rosella's somewhat in personality. I'm gonna give them like a good B as well. I think they're up there, like they just do silly things. They're very like bird brained. I think they're just really fun birds for sure. I mean, they're they're very popular for aviary birds just cause you know, they're a little silly. They're very fun to watch just as they go about their day. So yeah, I, B tier, yeah, B tier makes sense. Okay, so next up, the peach front conure. They're pretty much just like the half moon. As far as species go, they're very, very closely related. Honestly, like handling the half moon and peach fronts, like they feel like you're handling a large macaw with like a slight conure twist in like a tiny body. That's like how I would describe it. So anyways, I would put this absolutely in B tier, right here. So B tier is pretty full, we'll see if I have to extend that, but we'll see how it goes. Next up, we got the Triton cockatoo. There's a reason there are so many viral videos of cockatoos, and it's because they are clowns. End of story. They are silly, they talk, they scream, they argue. I mean, they're really fun birds. They're amazing, I love them. Absolutely, they're an S tier. You point the camera, they're doing something silly. No doubt about it. And then we got the way, way, way bird. I don't know how to, I'm not even gonna try to like mimic the meme, okay? That's a, that's a typical Lori. Yeah, they're just really silly. Then they just do really weird things for no reason. And I love it. I love 
the red chattering lorry. It is such a great bird. It is so fun. Just like the rainbow lorry key. Absolutely S tier. Just saying, the, the whole meme and everything, it's just proof about the whole S tier thing. You just point your camera and chances are the bird's doing something stupid and funny. Okay, so next we got Amazons. Amazons are again such fun birds. They got big personalities, they do super silly things. I mean, they're just all around really big birds. They're kind of like the macaw a little bit. I mean, obviously Amazons are Amazons. They have like their own personality and that's where it, sometimes it's kind of hard to describe, right? Unless you've handled Amazons and macaws and you're like, oh yeah, yeah, they're very different personalities, but they're still just very fun and energetic. A tier, the Mexican red crown headed Amazon. A tier. There's a reason these are very popular birds. People love Amazons. Okay, it looks like we got three cockatoos coming up. So first we got the Goffin's cockatoo. Goffin's cockatoo, super fun cockatoo personality. It's pretty straightforward, though in my experience, some may disagree here, but I think Goffin's cockatoos are just a li little more on the calm end of the cockatoo type personality. So I'm gonna put them in A tier, just because they're not as often as say an S tier sulfur crest cockatoo, but they're definitely up there. Uh, next, okay, you Australians corrected me on this. I've always heard it as Gala cockatoo, but I guess it's Gala or Gala. I'm probably butchering it but I'm gonna try my best and correct myself. Gala cockatoo, and I'm just gonna run with that. And if you guys disagree, or I'm still mispronouncing it, please correct me in the comments below. Gala, I think is how it goes. We're just gonna go with that. The Gala cockatoo, really fun bird, I mean, the whole name Gala is, you know, I understand it. It's just a term like making fun of them. They're just clown birds. It literally translates to clown bird. So I think this one's obvious, guys. These are S tier. Absolutely. They are just super fun, crazy parrots. And then we got another sulfur crest right here, the citron cockatoo. Again, personality wise, they're just very similar to the triton cockatoo. They're just super fun, energetic, super high maintenance. You point the camera, they're doing something silly. So another super easy S tier, absolutely. Okay, so next, Indian ringneck. Indian ringnecks are so crazy. They have a very weird, fun personality to them. Their voice is just so funny and silly. They're like a squeak toy is like the best way to describe them. They're literally a squeak toy that's trying to like talk and they're just like, Wee! they're just so cute and they're so fun. They're not as hyper as say cockatoo, so not S tier, but a very solid A. Absolutely. So we're going to put that right here. Okay, so now we're down to the last two parrots. Yo, I'm gonna say just we're nearing the end here. I don't have any F tier birds, which is kind of interesting, but that's because I haven't really reviewed like an F tier bird yet. This is pretty obvious, right? Like the really boring birds generally are not popular pets, so it's really difficult to come across those birds. But Going back to the white cap pinus. Pinus, I mean overall their personalities, they're just very similar. They're low energy birds, super easy maintenance. Sometimes they'll do something fun and silly. Uh, so overall, solid E tier. I think white cap pinus is a good E tier parrot. So then comes the last parrot and the most popular parrot review on my channel. Not just the views, but even just traction wise. And it's for good reason. For one, my Kaik, I have one, so I involve it in a lot of my videos. You guys see all my other videos where I'm just playing with my parrot while I'm talking and stuff. People love her, you know, she's a very fun bird. And I can tell you guys right off the bat, Kaiks, S tier. They are absolute clowns. No question about it. They are super funny, hyper, 
doing silly things, and I'll tell you, even for my Kaique, Sakura, she's kind of broken. You watch a lot of videos online and you see what Kaiques do. She doesn't do a lot of those like, for example, like Kaiques always hop. They just hop all the time. I've never once seen Sakura hop around. She doesn't hop, she doesn't do marches either, but even then, she still does so many silly things. She's so hyper all over the place. I mean, it's she's such a handful and you know, she definitely gets the most attention out of my flock. All the other birds, there's a reason I have a pianist, you know, I have a green cheek. Like they're still like lower maintenance birds a little bit. Sakura just takes the cake. I mean, the amount of time you need to spend with her. Yeah, they're just really hyper. Just expect that. And that's why I made this tier list. So I hope guys this kind of puts an interesting perspective on all these birds on just in my opinion just how fun they are to to be with and handle maybe if you guys want I might try maybe a tier list on like beginner birds or something I just want to expand my library a little bit on birds I've actually reviewed it's a bit of a process but you know we'll see We'll see how things go. But anyways, guys, I think that's about it for this video. Uh, I hope this fun, more casual vibe was, uh, you know, very entertaining. And with that, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure also to check out my second channel, Food Flock. If you're really into food, I bring Sakura along with me on those videos. And it's really fun just kind of hanging out. So make sure you check it out. And with that, guys, I'll see you next time.